What is up, everyone, and welcome to Twitch Monster 27 right here for the BRL Speed Report, episode number three. Welcome you into the Speed Report today, this Thursday evening. Uh, we have with us as well uh, Jody Fry, who's a part of the show. Jody, welcome in to the Speed Report, and uh, we thank you for joining us up here. Jody, can you hear us? Yeah, I got you. Loud and clear. All right, and so before we begin our analysis, we'll bring you up to speed as usual with what you missed, if at all you missed anything, what you missed over the past week of racing the the league, BRL League was at Indianapolis, the Oval, our first Oval race in about three races, the first Oval race of the round. So let's bring you up to speed with what you missed. Now, we did have a broadcaster this race um, that kind of kept us entertained in this race it wasn't just me and all the mistakes that i make on a weekly basis so that was awesome and so we will bring you uh in with that and we'll show you potentially what you missed and then we'll show you how the points were impacted and of course you'll hear our um, interpretation or our analysis I should say better of what happened and what you'll hear in the background is Frosty who again did a super job in broadcasting this race and a big thank you to him and it just so turned out that Frosty was our first DNF of the Indianapolis race. So we have 15 down to 14 drivers in this race. And there you see the field getting ready to get started in this race. Uh, Jody, you were already in, in about in the top five here. I was actually third. I was actually wound up right behind you. Were you behind me? So what were your thoughts coming yeah. into uh, this moment? As basically, this is the start of the race right here. What were your thoughts? Uh, yeah, just keep my car clean. And just go and just go try to knock off the 48, which he see he did. All right. So, uh, would this be what type of race would this be like? Well, let's uh, DNF on lap one will kind of give you an indication of what this race would be like, and let's get you back more underway. Three wide racing on this restart. Three wide racing at Indy. For position, uh, Bibbly Bob was right in the mix of things early, and there you had Back in Black in the nine, who would prove to be a very, very uh, strong driver. You had me in the eight with a good start, a decent finish, at least I finished, and I will take that uh, from perspective, or I will take those points for sure. And... Uh, and so, yeah, that, that was a big deal. But there you saw a car down there on the bottom. We had a lot of drivers that were new drivers that were uh, new to the league. Uh, Wolf was one of them. Uh, thank you, Back in Black, for inviting Wolf. But uh, you got a lot of DNFs, including Wolf being one of those DNFs. And then Tihi was another one that wrecked out early and would bring out the caution. Remember in BRL, 100% engine is a DNF. So they wouldn't last long, and the field would restart once again with yet fewer cars and a lot of battling. You see I hit the wall. You see a lot of side-by-side -side battling, and that's how it would be pretty much the entire race. Um, just back and forth action, going back and forth. Uh, one of the drivers that really, really needed to, well, most of these drivers needed to finish this race, but a couple of the drivers that really, really needed to have a good day, we'll talk about in a little bit. One was Woozy Emu. He needed to have a good day. The question at this point, would he survive 
Also, Dale Jr. had been so strong and carrying all that momentum. How far would that go in uh, in the race there? We'll talk about that in a minute, and you'll get a chance to see that there on your screen as we move further and further down the line here. We will get spread out. Story of the day would be this battle right here between the ECE boys and the 48, who would be by himself. What up, Jazz? How you doing, man? Who would be by himself uh, in this in this stream? Hey, hey, um, hey, Jazz. Why don't you join us? Uh, yeah, invite um, back in black if you can invite him to the party, and uh, yeah. he can join us in the up here in the studio as well. We'd love mm -hmm. to have you up here. Uh, so this would be a big deal, and that's what we will be watching for most of the race. We keep on. Uh, we're under another caution here. And that caution would be, uh, I think this is when Dale DNF'd right here yeah, around this part. Dale, Dale Jr. DNF in the wreck that would include. Uh, Half the field, pretty much. Well, it was the 03 that, that it included directly. The 03 of e, uh, Kung Fu Killer would get involved in this wreck. Um, you see green flag pit stops, and there you see Bibbly Bob in the wall. So I'm sorry, this was the wreck with Bibbly Bob, not with uh, because he was stopped up up top. All right, so we continue on. Pit stops wouldn't ensue halfway through the race. You see 30 of 100. This was a long, long race. Um, Hello. What's up, Jazz? Welcome to welcome to the studio, man. Thank you for joining yeah. us up here. Hey, th thank you for um, having me in the booth for a consultation. No problem. And we are back underway. Uh, lap 32 would be a restart, and you would um, see um, a lot of side-by-side -side battle. Once again, you see West that's up in the picture here. Um, but it would not last long, this green flag run, because you're going to see uh, you see three, four wide back there in the back. No wonder we had so many uh, drivers to wreck out of this race. But a lot of big moves here. Uh, as you hear Frosty talking about those moves, and what we want to see is um, the Bibbly Bob Dell Jr. wreck. As you see a restart, about prepared to start there. So. Um, so uh, can I talk? Uh, uh, I guess, uh, a, a little bit. Give me one. Give me one second, because we're gonna we're gonna talk about all of this right here. So I'm definitely wanting to get your opinion. That's I'm just fine. kind of reviewing the race and okay. getting everybody up to speed with what happened here. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the stream, uh, be sure to hit that follow button and uh, hit the notification so you'll know when we go live and we'll be able to uh, uh, tune in from the very beginning of the stream. You'll know exactly what's going on. Uh, and we thank all of those continued supporters for Twitch Monster 27. And there's a picture of Woozy Emu. So far, so good. It was on lap 40 of this race, carrying the torch here for Frosty and his race team while Frosty commentates because of early failure there. Um, again, back in black, ECE. The lead, would that continue? Let's get you towards the end of this race here. This would turn in definitely into a fuel mileage race. And um, I tune in to yet another caution. This restart will be one of the last restarts of the race, actually. Now, there should have been another caution in this race. Um, uh, uh, there was a DNF that happened later in the race that was missed. And so you can put that blame all on Sam Cook as the league owner who missed that DNF and did not throw the flag. But it did make for some good late race action. It really, really did. So the question here would be fuel mileage. No one could make it to the end on fuel. would have to be one more stop. And the question is who was going to challenge there at the end. Lap 94, and you think, oh, boy, here we go. 48 is the leader coming down to these last bits of races. But as you can see on the bottom right hand of your screen through the letters of the chat, unfortunately, is the fuel mileage situation brewing. 
And it's tough. It's really, really tough when you're in a position like little Habibi and Michael because of the fact that you want to win this race. And you know if you pit, what are the chances you're going to be able to get through, back up through the field? Um, so you kind of roll the dice. And the 48 was going to roll the dice to see if he could make it. Michael, however, was not going to do so. He was not going to roll the dice. He knew he couldn't make it. But this was the move of the day. Michael snatching the lead away from the 48. Now Michael is a leader. Now if you're the 48, do you pit? Do you stay out? Big questions here. Um, question is, what would they choose? Well, let's skip further on towards the end of this race. Lap 100. The 48 is out of fuel. He tried to stretch it. As you can see on your screen, Michael did not. Michael pitted. And the rookie... The first time going to victory lane this season, the rookie Michael, second place no more. He's going to strike gold. He's going to finish in first. Now, this move by little Habibi, not only did he not win, but he also did not finish in the top three. Uh, that would go to Wesley. First race back for Paintbrush. First race, second place. Uh, which was exactly what Paintbrush was averaging uh, for a long time in the league. So he picks right up. And then back in black, ECE dominance, another solid run, another great, great race here. Um, Habibi's getting a push by one of the drivers in. That's the 83 of De – of, uh, of, and then, yeah, I plow into him. Yeah, that was White Hammer and then – I plowed into him, but I was trying to get there to get to uh, to get to fourth place. Ended up finishing fifth. A lot of good finishes here. A lot of DNFs in this race, though. So we've got a lot to talk about because this had a big impact in the points. But before we, uh, of course, talk about the points, I'm going to bring up the points. But in the meantime, let's get you guys' opinion of the race i want to start with um uh, woozy uh woozy what was your opinion of this race what was your take on it and um just your overall thoughts of indianapolis um well you were saying my name earlier about the dnf uh i was trying to work hard uh work hard around in the, like the racer and the, like turning left of the track and the Indianapolis is amazing yeah and uh, me and Fadi can work hard to get back on top and get the win on Indianapolis uh, world course Definitely. Jody, let me get your thoughts. Did you expect this Indy race to uh, go to a field mileage race? No, I didn't. But I already, I already knew I already made a mistake because I told him, I said, if I would have, I already told him in the chat, I said, the chat, I, said I just I just messed up myself. And right after we just got done in the thing, I said, this just turned into a field mileage race. And I said, I said before the race, I said, if this turns into a field mileage race, I said, I got to pit five laps after we go green on that last pit stop. Yeah. And, we, and if I would have pitted, I would have pitted on lap 75 and went and you all would have had to pit. Look who would have blew by y'all. Yeah, it, it would have been a big possibility of that. I did not expect it. Um, if you're thinking about joining BRL, that's one thing you can expect is, you know, uh, early you're going to have some cautions, obviously. And you may have some have cautions. Green flag action. You're going to have cautions late in the race um, because of battling and, and things of that nature. But it's not a wreck fest. There's never been a race in BRL that I've experienced in three seasons where we've had an absolute wreck fest, and that's even in the rain. We haven't had a caution fest. I uh, love we've the had races. hard battling. We've had great racing. We've had long stretches of green flag runs. 
But if you compare this to in the Indy race in season one, that went into overtime. Um, we, you know, that, that went into overtime. It was a tight battle uh, there at the end of that race. I never saw um, this going to fuel mileage, but I think it made for some great, great racing. It added that strategy element back in, which is something you expect at ovals anyway. Um, the rates of DNFs and everything kind of helped thin the field as well and made it for some great racing and deeply impacted the points is what we're going to look at next. The points definitely, definitely impacted here. Um, so first and foremost, we got to talk about the chasers. Uh, positions one through eight for those that watch the update show, they know where they sit, but here are your chasers right here. And I mean, deeply impacted the point. So first, if you're comparing it to what it looked like before the update, you've got um, Michael sitting up front. You've got back in black sitting second. Habibi drops from first to third. You got Sam Cook moving from uh, mid pack all the way up to fourth behind in front of White Hammer. And then you've got Dale Jr. So. Essentially, your top eight, Frosty there too. This, essentially, this will be your top eight moving on if we moved on right now. And just last week, we were talking about whether some of these guys would even have a chance of advancing into the next round. And there you see Frosty dip, falling down on that bubble and, you know, beloved there on that bubble. These were drivers that were solidly in the top group last week. So, I mean, what a difference one week can make in BRL. Um, so, let's kind of break this thing down here. Let's talk first from the bottom. Ghost Train was not present. Josh was not present. Uh, we're headed to Indy GP. Uh, what, can, what do you think, uh, Jody, that we can expect from Ghost and Josh? If Josh shows uh, up, uh, Ghost for sure. If Ghost shows up. Ghost shows up. Uh, we got a little bit of a problem. Ghost has got some uh, ghosts and little uh, BB. And little BB, I know they want that first place back. They want that first place back. They want that 484 on top of something else as for what we're looking at here. Yeah, and um, Woozy, what do you think? You've, you've watched Ghosts for quite some time and you've, you've raced with them as well, so. What do you think the impact's going to be for BRL having Ghost back at NDGP? Um, I think Ghost Train is an amazing driver. I think we should let him be in the BRL again. And, and, like, and I think he's a nice person. I think we should give him another chance. Do you think in at Indy GP? Do you think that he could have a big chance to win? I I think so. Yeah, uh, me too. And that's what I was kind of alluding to for these guys up here: Michael, Back in Black, Little Habibi. Um, Ghost has a big opportunity to come and steal a win here in advance, um, which is something I think he needs to be focused on, considering how deep, well, how deep in the points that he is. In. You know, um, now, I mean, he's only, t he's only, what, 30 points out of, uh, fourth or fifth place or s sixth place, right? Uh, 30 points out of six. So, I mean, he's not doing too bad for himself, but he could stand to advance a little bit further in the points and mm -hmm. a win would definitely help that out help him advance and take some of that pressure off. And then, you know, he won't have to worry about anything and he can be prepared for uh, the race after GP, which is going to be uh, at uh, the Mazda Raceway. So another tough race. And I just think that adds a little complexity for those guys battling for that lead on a consistent basis up front. So we'll see. What about Josh? What does Josh need to do? Because... We talked about Josh last week expecting him to be an Indy. He wasn't there. Uh, what does Josh need to do uh, right now to ensure that he can have the best chance to move to the next round? Besides, obviously, showing up. He needs to do that. 
Josh needs to show up consistent finishes like I did the first round. Five, top fives, top fours. Practice every track. Get faster at every track. Yeah, would, would team points be a good idea for Josh right now? Yes. Yes, if he can use them, if he can use them, use them. Yeah, definitely, I would say so as well. So those are the two that did not run. And unfortunately, because of our, remember our lineup, because there's no qualifying, remember this is a week where there's an a inverted finishing order. Because they did not run Indianapolis, they will default to the rear of the field. So both the Ghost Train and Josh, assuming that there are no hot seats, they will be the last two cars on the grid. And at GP, it might be it might take them a little bit of time uh, to work their way through the field. And you have to wonder with all of the new drivers that are in, which we'll talk about in a minute, and with with the way GP is is designed. Uh, could lead to some wrecks and potentially some DNFs because of wrecks. So you have to, you're always kind of nervous when you have to start in the rear of the field or in the mid pack because you never know what can happen. The safety zone's definitely up front. Speaking of DNFs, let's talk about the drivers that DNF'd out of here that are in the chase. And I'm highlighting that group right now. Um, these guys will have a top starting spot at GP. Um, Dale Jr. Frosty will sit on pole, so that's good for them. You've got Dale Jr. Frosty, Beloved, Bibbly Bob, and Woozy. Uh, back in black, we'll go to you first because Woozy is involved in this list. Yeah. Um, out of these guys, who do you think is going to be the drivers to rebound, and who do you think are going to be the drivers that are in trouble? Dale because he's not a road course expert. So you said Dale's, in, Dale's gonna be in trouble. Dale's gonna be in trouble up front. In trouble up front, especially with all the fast guys coming with all the fast guys like me, Habibi, West, all of us gonna come to the field and diving it up the inside. He's gonna be Especially for Clemente Corner, especially for turn one, because it's a hard breaking turn right. And then a and then a really quick left on top. Yeah, of and if yeah. we and if we get, just saying, if we get, saying like if there's only thirteen cars and I start, and I start P10, I am automatically already on the. I'm automatically already on that side right up against the wall and if I get right up or get the fourth and if I get in the turn one like I need to he's already in trouble because if I get in the turn one like I need to I'm gonna outbreak the I'm gonna outbreak all four of them okay um who else is in trouble out of out of this list you said Dale Pro Jr. because of his lack Belo of road uh, beloved if he if he can't keep consistency if it if he keeps on DNF him like he does, he's going to be out of the top like he needs to. I think you and him are just going to keep on taking turns. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Okay. Uh, so, beloved car, because of, uh, you say because of the DNF rate, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Who else out of this list? you have anybody else? Okay. So, who's going to rebound? Who's going to be able to rebound out of this Frosty. List? Okay. And Bigly Bob. Well, why Frosty? Because Frosty can assist. I know Frosty's consistently at road courses. He's pretty quick. Okay. And Bigly Bob, I race with him on road courses, and he's pretty quick as well. Okay. So, so you're you expecting the 14 and the uh, 23. 23 to rebound and get themselves back up in the chase hunt. And when I talk about in trouble, I mean in trouble of falling out into this spot, this bubble spot right here and out of the top eight. And we know four drivers are going to be eliminated. So here's our bubble right here. 
you know, these two bottom of the bubble, these two top of the bubble. You know, so right now, as it stands right now, Bibbly Bob, Woozy wouldn't make it. Ghost Train and Josh wouldn't make it. Wait, um, what? Yeah, you wouldn't make it. If it, Why? if the and chase if it. the chase ended right now if the if the, the, the chase ended right now obviously it's you've not got 20 there's points. still time you've got twenty points for DNF and but yeah and you can see on your screen Woozy, where the where the bubble is right here if I oh. highlight those that are going to advance the next round is going to be eight so one one two three four five six seven eight would stop it beloved. So all those underneath beloved would be eliminated if if the round of eight started now. Let me check on my full computer. Yeah, if the round of eight started now, but um, I'll get to Woozy in a second while he <laughs> reorients himself after getting that news. But um, okay, <laughs> so if I'm looking at this, um, I got a couple people that I think can rebound. First of all, um, I think. There will be three out of this group that rebound. You have to also remember if Ghost advances and or if if, if Ghost comes back, he's going to be a strong strong favorite. And and if uh, Josh comes back, I think also you can count him because one thing Josh doesn't do is tear up uh, tear up tear up the car a lot. So I expect those two to make some advances also you have to remember i don't think ghost train will use team points but i have to assume josh will josh has team points to use and he can use them every round as long as he's in the bottom of the standings i think that's going to help help things as well so you have to keep that in mind so my pe my picks to rebound dale jr i think dale jr has a lot of pride in the way he runs He's going to be able to uh, get some consistency. He doesn't really DNF all that much. So I think that he can advance, He can turn things around here. I really do think he'll turn things around. So that's my number one. Um, he's got a good teammate in Hammer who is flying under the radar. And we'll talk about that in a minute as we move up to the group, the battle for the championship. Um, but he's flying under the radar. He's somebody who can really do a, a good job. As he gets more competitive and gets more confidence in his season, he'll definitely be someone to work with. So I think those two over there at uh, Dale Jr. Racing, Dale uh, Jr. Motors, Dale, I forgot what his team name was. It's, Dale, it's Team Dale, it's team Dale team DJ. Yeah, 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 Team Dale Jr. Yeah. Okay, they, they'll, they'll be able to advance. Frosty, for the things that you mentioned, Frosty is actually an underrated road course racer, and that's what's been stated in the chat. Old Frosty gonna fire off like a bullet here at GP. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking, uh, speaking of Frosty, I'm in the call with him right now. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh -oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I Frosty, see him say hello. What's up, Frosty? What's up, man? Glad you're tuning in here to uh, to the speed report, oh, and definitely I, I think because of that. Also, uh, I remember him in a conversation. I believe it was uh, earlier on in the week, or late last week. We were talking about uh, Indy, and he said in, in a couple other leagues he he had Indy and Indy GP. So he he is going to be fully ready. Him. It's gonna be full ready for, uh, yeah. for the GP circuit. And I think he can I've get it done. And the beloved, GP already. Uh, because beloved is someone else who has stepped up. He's proven he stepped up, and I think it was just a, a rough patch in round number one. He didn't get round number two started off very well, but he is a veteran when it comes to racing and Sam Cooke led league. He knows how this works. Um, he's going to get the team points as necessary, and he's he's going to be able. To shake this off at GP, he understands what he needs to do, taking it uh, step by step. And if he can finish some of these races, he's going to advance in the point standings, no doubt. You know, so I think he's I think he's okay for Bibbly Bob as a rookie. Um, there was a lot of take about his name and and who he was and his speed and all of this. And um, I haven't seen it. I've seen bits and pieces of him up front, but he hasn't really inspired me to believe that under the type of pressure that being in a hole like this provides that he's going to be able to get out um hanging on by the skin of his teeth i i, I guess you would say 
Um, I don't know. I want to see more. He's a rookie. I want to see more for him to convince me that he's going to be able to work his way out of this hole, especially with Ghost Train and Josh roaring from the bottom of the point standings. Uh, we'll see about that. I have my eye on him, but I don't have a lot of faith. And then for Woozy, um, I'm oh, not boy. going to. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not going to. Uh, obviously, because he's here, I will just give a neutral analysis. Um, because Woozy is, a, is an excellent person. We love having him here around us, whether it's in the studio, in the booth, on the track. Uh, we love having him here. He's an awesome person. And getting out there on the racetrack, I think for GP, if he's going to continue to be competitive, he's going to first of all need help with team points. That's number one. But then number two is he's going to have to finish races. Um, and oh, if, I am, if I am, if I am, if, 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 if Woozy was was beloved, and you know, and he's struggling to finish these races, and he he has the statistics that Woozy has, um, I would be telling beloved, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go out there. I want you to run the first half of the race, and I want you to pull over, off into the grass somewhere, and just sit, just just sit, <laughs> just pull over and sit. Now, you're not going to DNF because if something happens electronically and you lag out, that's last place points. That's not a DNF. And at the very least, when we finish the race, then you can go and finish the race and get points. At least finish one race. Now, after you accomplish that and you get those points, then we'll move. We'll take, we'll take baby steps. Goal number one has got to be finishing the race. You can't look at challenging in the chase if you can't finish a race. So then after you finish that race... I don't know if anyone caught that, but that just rhymed. Hey, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so then after that, then we'll work up. Okay, you finish this oh, race. God. Now we're going to, so now we're going to uh, Luna Seca, and it's and and it's not hard. It's not easy um, to DNF there unless you just get caught no, up in a really. massive wreck. It's not easy to DNF. You can't get involved in wrecks easily, but it's not easy to the DNF because there's a lot hard. of. Them. Yes, the corkscrew is hard, but unless you just go a thousand miles per hour into the corkscrew and slam into the wall, you're not going to DNF. You might hit the tire barrier, you're not going to DNF. You'll get wrecked, you're not going to DNF. So I think that then you say, okay, this is a track with a lot of runoff. You can run off a lot into the dirt and stuff and still be okay. In this race, I want you to finish the race racing you know just just don't be competitive just let everyone buy you and just finish this race the whole race racing and then after that you look where you are in points and you say okay this is it we're headed to airfield just finish airfield do the best that you can to finish airfield and there are going to be a lot of dnfs at airfield and there always are don't be one of them you might sneak your way into the next round and then we go from there, you know. Then, then we had oh. to, to, then we had to to homestead with with a glimmer of hope. But oh, um, I'm looking this to make lot. it to homestead. <laughs> it's a lot, you know. It's a lot. But um, let's real quick while we have Woozy in here, uh, let's just talk with Woozy real quick. Uh, as you look at this season so far, we're headed into GP. Um, what are your thoughts? What do you think you can do to improve? to make sure you finish these races? Um, oh, boy. Um, this is a tough one. Lucy. Mark, yes. to Mark, I've told you. I've told Sam. And Sam will, ta will back me up. If you need help with a track or practice, I will practice with you. If a driver wants to practice with you to make you better, Let that driver practice with you to help you. And I'm sure that you're doing that because you've got a good teammate in Frosty, so I'm sure that you're doing that and that he's helping you. One thing that can crush 
uh, one thing that can stifle growth, prevent a driver from growing, and is is a lack of confidence. And so when you head to NDGP, have a lot of confidence. Have some confidence. Whatever happened last race was last race. Pretend like it yeah. never happened. Um, because enough drivers DNF that it really didn't happen. Okay? Like, <laughs> so you can like Sam always told me. Like, <clears throat> Sam, can I, take, can I take something out of your book like you always tell me? If it's in my book, don't let it not be in my book. I got my book <laughs> sit right beside me. Is something's in the past? Is something happened to you in the past? Let it be in the past. Focus I just on wrote, the future. I just wrote that in the book. I just, just literally <laughs> just wrote that in the book. <laughs> I think we got that part. I think we got that part. Uh. Yeah, but look at the next few races. Sam, can you go up there and look? For a second. Look at the next few races. So we got NDP, um, Mon, um, Mazda. Yeah, Raceway, Airfield, then. That's we Laguna have, Seca. Um, yeah. Laguna Seca is probably one of the. Airfield and Laguna Seca is the toughest track, the toughest two tracks on this get on this, in this round. In this round. Okay. If you can get through Indy without no DNS, and there's a bunch of D, and there's a bunch of DNS at them two tracks, and you finish both them races, look where you're going to finish. You're going to jump ahead of all the guys that you finished ahead of. But whatever, Flotty. Yeah. Well, you know, the yeah. thing about it is you can't really, in this position, you can't really worry about Frosty because yes. Frosty um, statistically right now is having a better season than you are. You need to be focused solely on you and your immediate See? Team, the 45 team. Um, See, Michael's because... having a better season. Michael's having a better season than I am. Hey, Sam God, mm. let you a chat. Yeah, it says, I have something for your book. If one needs to advance, always make nasty schemes to throw people off. They may... <laughs> 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 oh, wow. <laughs> may just slam through with you. That's funny. <laughs> Sam. Sam. That is funny. Sam. Yeah. Can you say that? Can I say that? you say? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Okay. Oh okay. my god. Okay. Okay. Woozy. 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 Uh, why? The 22, my teammate. Look at the points. The 22, Michael. Is having a better season than I am. You know what he told me in a party? Right after Indy? More. He said, I'm not calling aggressive driving on you. If you got an inside move on me, and if the door's open, take it. If you spin me, you spin me. That's a good teammate. Yeah. yeah. But I think I'm the, locked in. I think the I think the point that Jody's making is that um if you when you focus on your race, take it one race at a time. We're headed to GP. Don't worry about the rest of the schedule. GP is where you want to focus on. Run you some practice laps. The goal is to finish at all cost. It doesn't matter how many laps down you go. It doesn't matter. Um, it, it it doesn't matter. Uh, you know what the circumstances are. Don't worry about everybody else. You you you're doing what's best for your season and your race. And when you get that first race under your belt, oh, that you finish, it's gonna feel it's gonna feel like a race win. 
and that's going to give you the confidence you need to move forward to this, this the tougher part of the schedule. So, yeah, I, I see it. I, I see it. Let's let's move on, okay? Because I don't want Woozy to feel bad. We we got to kind of put him on the spot there for me. I just kind of wanted to get his thoughts on, on what he was feeling like going to the next race. Speaking of the next race, I got the top group highlighted here. The top five drivers in points. Um, I want back in Black's opinion. Um, as you look at these points, I'm right not here, opinion on myself, but I am. Don't even know the question. Know the question. Don't even know what the question is. You are what? Little, but little happy. I'm sorry for what I did at Indy, but I was not lifting when you put me in the grass. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he's fine with that. Uh, that didn't didn't really. <laughs> tank his race at all he still had a possibility of winning that race had he pitted but my question to you is who's going to be the sleeper out of this top as right now right if now. you were thinking final four final, final race four. or final four final close to the final four we're about to advance um who's your sleeper out of here to to possibly sneak and win a championship I'm sorry to tell you, but I gotta go with the all-time. Like you said, he's got. He will release a pack of hornets. Of hornets, if you get into him the wrong way. Oh, the so white you? Oh. Hammer. <laughs> oh well, yeah, yeah. So you think the white hammer has enough speed to be able to challenge for a championship? Against the group in front of him, excluding me, of course. <laughs> it's going you, yeah. If we all mess up, yeah. If we're all in the back and he's in the lead, yeah, he's got a shot. Yeah, he's definitely a sleeper, um, for sure. I was, when I look back at that indie race, I was actually really surprised um, of the fact that he finished what that race. What did he just say? <laughs> when I look back at the Indy race, I was surprised that he actually finished that race. He's a sleeper for sure. Uh, the White Hammer. But that's not who I have. Sneak in and win in the championship. Um, because I, I, I don't think he has... Uh, I, I, I think he's consistent. I don't think he has the speed that's consistent enough. I'm not going to say me um, because that's just not my style. Someone else can do that or not do that. I don't care. But I will say Back in Black is definitely a sleeper. Uh, the past several races, he's been running right there around that third to fifth spot. Running really, really consistent. Has the speed. And Indy really proved something. Really proved that he had enough speed. And I'm not just saying this because he's sitting here. And because if he was scrubbing out, I'd also say the same thing. Like, Jay, Jody sucks. He's not finishing races. He's DNFing out. I would not be afraid to say that. So, it's nothing to do with him being here. Um, but, no, in all seriousness, you look at how he ran Indy, keeping that car up front, making smart decisions. One thing about this season that's been different about the last two seasons and the last 200 seasons of KMR, okay, is the fact that he is not, he's not saying much. He is focused on each race, and you can tell he's not being distracted by what's going on around him. He's taking the time out. He's being aggressive when he needs to. He's not backing off from people who are being aggressive towards him. And because of that, because of his focus and staying focused throughout the race and making those good decisions, he's sitting second place in points as opposed to being you know, underachieving, being in sixth or seventh because of those minor moments where he takes his eye off the ball, excluding Watkins Glen, where he happened to take out somebody else sitting up here in this party. But we're not going to go there. All right, so. On accident. Sorry, Sam. Yeah, well. Uh, the, the bill should have got to you by now for you to pay for uh, my it car. Did. I sent you a new car. Yeah, thank you. All right, so now we got to go down here and talk about uh, the drivers in this bottom group that's that's already been eliminated to the hot seat uh, position. These are, are a lot of rookies in here um, as well. We got Wes that has returned. I mean, that's something we've got to talk about real quick. We saw Wes finish second, man, first race back. Uh, how is this going to impact that chase battle that we've got going on right now? How that's going to impact it a lot because... 
Now, he can keep up a little heavy. Now, match if he back. Now, if you go back to the video. Uh, the video's down. Oh, like, yeah. I can't go back to the video. It's down right now. <laughs> if you. No, I'm saying if you went back to it and look at him and. Look at him and little, hub, little baby, like, dooring up into the wall. If he would race her baby like that for like four or five races until the baby had enough of it and they would just start a rival, them two would just fight for every race. And then it would just be all over. It would just probably just be just, it would just be them killing each other. We know that Wes has, has a lot of speed. Last season, season, he made the Final Four, so we know yeah. he has a lot of speed under that uh, under that hood. Um, yeah, I, I I really think it'll impact the chase almost in a way in a similar way that Habibi impacted the chase in season one when he was eliminated, but he was able to win races and battle those guys: Ghost Train, Paint, um, Dawson, and myself. Battle us for positions and for wins uh, really is going to shape shake things up, I think, with Wes having him there. And in one race, he went from hot seat, not even listed last week, wasn't even listed. Well, he was listed. He was down there because uh, he didn't run the qualifying race. But he went from there up to in the top, as high as you can go with those that were eliminated. So I think that says a lot about Wes and his speed. We'll see if that carries over to GP. Now he's gonna have a bottom starting spot. He's gonna be starting in the back of the pack or mid pack. He's gonna start right behind me. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what he's how how his speed influences the chase battle. Who's affected by it? Ghost Train. Will he influence Ghost Train and his ability to get back up to the front? Uh, what about now? This is when we have to talk about uh, Bibbly Bob and Beloved because he is. Uh, definitely has the speed to keep up with those guys. So, uh, a lot to to process here with West return. He's a veteran in the league, so he knows how to run. That's going to be interesting. Skitty Brave finally gets some momentum headed in his direction by not DNFing and finishing uh, Indianapolis. <sighs> if you're Skitty Brave, Jody, if you're Skitty right now, what are you taking from this season? What 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 do you take from this season? Should he be going for wins right now? I'll be just doing like what I did last season. Just showing up the races. Showing that I'm gonna come back next season ten times stronger. For sure. He's gotta carry this uh uh, momentum. Six, yeah, the six five four five momentum he's got going. Well dang. Um Allowing that frustration to kind of settle a bit before he returns to the track. He is deep in the hot seat list now. Just just tough, man. A tough break. But if Skitty can gain some momentum, man, mm -hmm. I think he can definitely challenge for a win. That's somebody else. Think about that tight racing as we get to possibly airfield or when we get to Homestead. If he can get some momentum going and be a battle it'll be a battle there at Homestead. So a lot to lot interest a lot of interest there. Our rookies, Tee Wolf, Kung Fu Killer. Um, out of these rookies, uh, you know Jody, a few of these guys. Um, who you got your eye on that could possibly be a noisemaker for this season that could... If Wolf can get the game back... Because his game glitched out on him. The day of... The day after BRL... We was going into Arca practice for the other league that we race in. And the game completely crashed out on him. And it glitched out, so he had to buy it. If he can get his game back, I know he's passed on ovals, but I need to work with him on road courses. And if, he can, if I can get his road course speed to where mine is, he's going to be a threat. He's going to be a threat right with me and Michael. Well, that's no, that's interesting. That's if he can take on get catch on that fast, that's gonna be very, very interesting. Very, very interesting to see. Uh my eyes are on Kung Fu Killer. Now, the thing about that, we'll go ahead and put it out there that 
uh, on the stream you obviously saw uh, him DNF in that wreck with Dell Jr. Uh, he was DNF and he received DNF points. He also received a points penalty for not backing out of the race in a timely manner. The same thing that happened with Skitty Brave uh, and Welp Dang, uh, or Skitty, was Skitty, the same thing that happened to Skitty Brave uh, at Road Atlanta. I believe it was Skitty. Um, the same thing that happened there happened with uh, Kung Fu Killer. So, uh, no, he did not you know, get, get past the rules, nor did he get past my eyes. However, what do we see in that race? Uh, we saw that when he continued to run, however, we saw some speed out of him and some control that I have didn't see out of Tehe or Wolf. We know they DNF early. Um, he had some speed on him. He was able to battle for positions successfully and make some passes. And had he not got involved in that wreck earlier and DNF, we're talking about someone who was able to finish the length of that race uh, in a good manner. At one point where he restarted second, was able to hold that position for a little while. Until that's I got somebody, <laughs> That's somebody who I'm keeping my eye on. Uh, we saw what he was able to do at an oval. Unfortunately, he got involved in that wreck. It happens. Um, but now I'm curious to see what is he like at a road course. Road We're course. headed to the GP. Now, if he carries that same speed or similar speed, I think he's someone uh, who could rise up through the standings. Now, if you look at where he is, he is the first driver in the hot seat position. So, if I'm Kung Fu Killer, you know, it was a killer that he had that DNF and all of that. Um, but if I'm looking at him, where he is in this point standings right here, if, let's say, Josh doesn't show up again, or let's say we have a situation where one of the top drivers, maybe Wolf doesn't get his situation together, or uh, T. He doesn't show up, Kung Fu Killer's right there, he can come right in and run. And let me tell you something, that speed... Um, that I saw, I think he could be a sneaker, uh, a sleeper rather, that could be like Wes and, and kind of make that battle for the, for the guys that are chasing, make it difficult because make no mistake, these guys that are down here, just because they are out of the chase or just because they're in that hot seat position does not mean does not mean that they cannot challenge for a race. Cannot cannot go and challenge for the victory of a race. It does not mean that they can't challenge for a position. Everyone has something to race for in BRL. So no one's going to pull over and make this easy unless they just want to. Uh, they're not. T they don't have to. So this could be very very interesting battling these guys that are in the chase. And uh, he showed a lot of speed. So we'll keep an eye on them as we head once again to the GP circuit. That's the one that NASCAR went to, um, minus that whole bus stop that's going to tear up the front end of everybody's car. We won't have to worry about that. But uh, this is the one that uh, NASCAR went to. So we have been here before. There is no footage of BRL there at GP. Um, that footage got uh, the broadcast wasn't. Uh, we had some trouble in the booth that day, and that caused us to have to, to scrap that broadcast. But um, BRL did go there season one after Indy, so we're returning there once again. Let's go now. Team points, our final little section of the stream. We're talking about team points, and there you have it. ECE jumps up from 484. They go up. Uh, to number one position with 611 and a first round by if we were to end right now, they would have a first round. Uh, well, they, no, they would have a buy into close to the championship round. They would have a buy all the way to the finals. Um, as it sits right now, as the number one seed, 484 was in this position last uh, season, and we know that it didn't necessarily yield them the best results, but. Here they are right here. Um, so it's really between these two guys right now. These are your two front runners at this moment. And they have a position or an ability to move forward. Uh, so between ECE and 484, assuming that from this point forward, everyone's able to show up and to run. Um, Woozy, we haven't heard from you in a minute. Who you got? 
ECE and 484, who you got um, being number one by the end of this round? I'm thinking 4884. So he's picking old 484 to come back on ECE. Uh, I'm not going to ask Jody because I know what his answer is going to be. So I'm, I'm gonna... the owner of the team. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I'm going to say 484 also, but I'm not. I'm going. I'm only going to say this if they do not use team points for Ghost. Yeah, and I don't see uh, Ghost warning team points. I don't see Habibi offering team points unless something catastrophic happens at GP. Then I could see them extending but some team points to make sure Ghost good move thing. forward. But if they don't, and both of them show up, I, I think it's going to be a flat-out battle. By the end of this round, though, I think 484 is going to reassert themselves up top. But I only think it's going to be like by one or two points. I think there's going to be such a tight battle here um, between these two guys and this these two teams. I really, really think it's going to be fun to watch. I can't wait to see that. Don't battle. forget. Don't forget about something. I do have a oops, sub driver oops, just in case my driver cannot race. It has a has top it. 10 lap time, time in a cup car okay. for that okay. track. Okay. So have fun. 48. Little heavy. <laughs> Little baby. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving on uh, to this next to group, this group, CMR, WRX, CMR, WRX and WRX, Team Dell Jr. Jr. All in the 200s, all, in the 200s, all hovering, around all hovering around e uh, each, uh, each other. Uh, really, the story has been which, which one of these drivers is going to finish gonna... from these teams? Who's going to DNF? Gonna DNF? Also, who's going to get also those team points? We know in each of these teams, of these team teams points team have been used to some extent, which is why they have not been able to catch up. Um, out of this, um, battle, out right of this here, battle right here, of course, they're still in the green, but out of this battle right here, Jody, because you're not involved in this battle, um, which team do you think is going to be um, the front runner out of these three right now is CMR? Fuzzy said, um, I'm sorry, doing a little, but Fuzzy said, is there any chance you can fit WSR to ERE? Uh, yeah, I see, I see what he's saying. Yes. No, there's no chance at all that I can do that. Nope, sorry. You're just stuck to uh, WRX. I like it better. Uh, anyway, Joe. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Frosty. I'm sorry, Frosty, on this because I know that's your team. But I'm sorry about this, but I'm on a Chevy 123. CMR staying P3. All right, so Jody has oh, Jody CMR. Has P3 and uh, as as a, as the owner for CMR, I would definitely hope we stay like that, uh, uh, so that uh, so that we can make sure that we you know survive this uh, onslaught and be able to. I still have confidence that we can catch 484 and ECE. Um, you don't have confidence. You can't catch me. Minus a hundred. See, you see how I do that? Watch this. Watch this. You see what? You see what happened right Mighty there? Minus a what? He said we can't catch him. Okay. There you go, right there, man. Well, you look. You're like two hundred points closer right now. Like, uh, I wonder how that happened. Anyone know how that happened on screen right there? I just, I don't know. I think four eight four just regained the lead. I just, you just two hundred points behind. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing. I'm gonna stop playing. I'm gonna stop playing. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, I I do have confidence. Uh, one of the big things that's hurting us is that we can't stay out of the record. <laughs> yeah, you're going to wreck us some. <laughs> yeah, you know, I we can't stay out of the record. You know, we we gotta have an in race. We gotta have a, a, a infield care center report every race. I don't. I'm trying to. We're trying to fix that though. We'll get it on track, and when we do. Those points will mount because we're being pretty consistent with our finishes when we do finish. It's just that um, we haven't been able to, you know, stay consistent enough. 
I think we can do that. And Team Dale Jr., I feel the same way. Like, if they can stay out of the record, you had the white hammer that didn't show up that one race, I think, hurting them. And then Dale DNF that same race. But I think that if they both can finish, you know, those races, start finishing those races, you know, I think it, I think things will be good for them. Uh, all right, so then we go down to kind of single car teams and stuff. We got Jay, uh, Josh, the best game, Bob racing, six five four five paintbrush racing. Now they're all right here. The red what? means they're eliminated, so six five four five is eliminated. But you got Bob and Josh, the best game, who are sitting right here. These two. Um, so. Um. Okay. Just a weird question. Why someone named Bob? Biblical. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. I I don't question gamer tags. I just write down the team, and he never told me what he wanted his team to be named. So uh, I just came up with something. I just put Bob. I know who it is. Easy for me. You know, I'm the one that got to write all this down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so oh Lord Frosty, so you know there you go. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I about? Oh, to say? You oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so who do you think uh, is gonna come out of the woodworks here and be able to challenge this two hundred group? We know the we know the five and six hundred group. They're not challenging that. But who do you think can challenge this <laughs> uh, this four hundred group here? This two hundred. It's six five four. Is it? Four five. Is that the six five four five? Is that the skitty brave in them? Yeah. I thought. Um, I think they can if they if they both could show up. And finish races. Yeah, no, I I agree with I, you. I agree. Um, I don't think I think the likelihood of that is slim that you're gonna have Welp Dang start to show up. I think he's throwing in the towel for this season, if I'm to be completely honest. Um, um, I think paintbrush racing, paint racing is actually can actually fly through, can the, point fly through the points. Um, especially um, especially if, if he can pick up a teammate. Pick up a teammate. I think he can fly I through, think the, point fly through the point standards and, and get and, to, and uh, get to uh, you know get up through you know get up through the point standings and. <laughs> And challenge. And, and I challenge. Really do believe I really that. do believe that. Um, if not, I'm just if not, he's still, still making pretty good still making points. Pretty good points. Five, four, five, five, four, five. Single, five, single car team. Honestly, think, honestly, if think Skitty's gonna if run, he's gonna run the rest of the season. The rest out. of the season out. He needs to pick him. He needs, he needs to, to pick find him. He needs to find another team. teammate for that team. And that would be my suggestion. That would be my suggestion because, because especially if especially if Welp is not gonna run, you can confirm that. Um, instead of just um, leaving him just sitting leaving there, him I would find another, another team, find another team to, for him to, to run, for him to run, um, to um, have a teammate, to have a teammate. Um, same um, for Bob. Same I mean, for Bob, I mean, Bob's doing really, Bob's really well, really single car team, but I think, team, I don't know. I think I, I would know. team I up, with, I a team up with a teammate or try to find a teammate to team up with, team up with. That's going to be consistent and showing up, showing up and try and make a run, try and make a run, um, catching this top point right now, right now. I mean, paintbrush racing, I mean, paint get, a racing get a run. Uh, six five four five could be five, four five could be, you know, sitting you know, there in that eliminated position, position and paintbrush racing paint get up in front, front of them, front of them, make a make a, make a run make a for us. I don't know. I don't know. have to keep an eye on that, 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 that run. That run. But uh, right now, I say Bob right racing say keeps racing hangs on, but paintbrush racing is going to be flying through the point standings because we know West is pretty consistent in showing up. Hey, let's, hey, see got, let's see. We got. Let's see. We got. See what Frosty said. What Frosty I'm calling said. my I'm shot calling now. My if shot I don't now, get a top ten in top... Indy, I'm running. I'm running. Slid forward Slid numbers forward for the rest of the year. The rest of the year. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. oh Lord. I'm gonna pull over and let you get that top ten. Please don't do that. I'm playing. I don't care what you. I don't care what you. I don't care the numbers as long as they on your car. They on your car somewhere. Somewhere. I really, really don't. Really don't. Hey, if Frosty, so you, say you can allow me to put my mummer forward. You can put it forward, hey. backward, on top of the car, on the tire, <laughs> underneath the car. I don't care. Just as long as it's on there somewhere where we can read it. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Like, like, 
Jet assemble the wheel <laughs> back see, What did you say for me to do? Like, put the mummer forward. Well, why not we put the mummer forward on Forza Multiple 7? You can if you want to. I'm a traditionalist, so I'm always going to have my numbers sitting right there. Not to mention, I don't make too many of my cars. I go steal them off the marketplace, so they're already made that way. Um, And I just keep I, them that way. But to, no, to be honest, I, I don't care what you, where you put your number. Um, you know, you, you can put it wherever you want to. Like I said, you know how Rolls Royce has the little center cap that never turns? Yeah, you want to put your number there on a center cap that never turns. I don't care as long as it's on the car somewhere. You know, this... That would actually be pretty I'm with, cool. uh -huh. Cookie knows I always make my paint schemes, like my Dale Jr. paint schemes. So. But, uh, yeah, that. for sure. There we go. That's what we got so far. It's going to be very exciting. So, just real quick, we'll run through the running order. Start the st Rather, the starting grid for Indy GP so that everyone will be clear, even though I'm going to have to repeat this again when we start the race. You won't for me. Uh, <laughs> we will uh, run through real quick where everyone's starting at. All right, we're ready. 23 of Frosty is going Frosty to be is going on, pole on pole for the start, for the of, start NDGP. of NDGP. Next to him on the Next front row is the 88 of Dale Jr. Dale Jr. Then the 24, the 24 of T, a uh, wolf that, rather, the 24, rather, the 24 of 24 wolf will start wolf third. Will start third. Then I believe then his I number believe is 81. Number is correct. 81. correct. 81, T, 81, 81 yes. yes. Yeah. T, yeah. 81. T he to 81 will start fourth on the grid. Then beloved will be fifth. Then Woozy will start sixth. Then Bibbly Bob will start seventh. The White Hammer will start eighth. Skitty Brave will be ninth. Sam Cook will be 10th. Little Habibi will be 11th. Back in Black will be 12th. Uh, Wesley will be 13th. The 22 of Michael will be 14th. Ghost Train will be 15th. And Josh, potentially, will be 16th. Dead last on the grid. Of course, if we get course, any, hot, get any seats, hot seats, um, then uh -huh, that will change up the grid order, but the hot order, seats the will hot, be in the last, the uh, last position, uh, so that'll potentially that'll move people up on the grid. On the, so we will see about that. See about that. All right, so, All right, uh, so concluding uh, comments uh, here, comments um, here. Uh, we want to uh, thank everyone for tuning in for the stream today. Hey, go ahead and hit that, follow, ahead and hit button, that follow button. Become a part of the community. Of the we uh, do this every week for every our, week, BRL our BRL series, series as well as other streams, iRacing, iRacing and all sorts of other, all games. Sorts of other games. We like having fun like here having on fun. this stream. Follow us or I'll hunt you down. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah. Fuck you, League is tonight. And if you want to <laughs> hit that fall button, on his channel on Twitch. Right. So, so he's there so in he's, the in the chat as well. As I believe well, is I believe uh I'm also here. F R L Network, Network as well as Jody twenty fourteen. So follow, all, so of follow all, of guys, all of those guys right here on Twitch. Right here Check on, us out on social out media. Social Concluding social comments media. guys Concluding comments guys for the league. Um I will um, I will defer to defer you, to you Uzi, got any concluding comments. Concluding comments. Um All right, who do we got uh, this weekend? Uh, For underdog. Yeah, um, just follow me on my own Twitter account, uh, channel. I only need a couple for, a couple more followers to reach 200 followers, so that would be nice. All right, so, All right, so you heard that heard loud, and that clear. loud and clear. Concluding comments. Concluding comments. Jody, who Jody, you got? Who you got? Winning this race in this race. Top three. Ooh, you got top three. You got top three. If Michael don't if Michael show, I got my show, sub got coming in, coming so I got him so winning, got the the race. winning the race. A little heavy right behind him, and then me right behind him. A little heavy. All right, so that's his right, top, so that's three, his top race. three race. He's assuming the race He's is going to be race good. Going to be good. We're, We're not going to have a not going to have guys, guys, but expect some caution, 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 caution reasonably. Wait, um, uh, what? 
Uh, sorry. Uh, what about your pick for I'm, like top three? I'm getting ready to pick right now. Right now. I just want to give everybody <laughs> else a chance. Everybody else first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's he's the, you he's picked your stream to, 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 to win. Jody picked his Jody top picked three. His top three. I've got. I've got, got top three. I've got me winning the race. Okay. Winning the race. Okay. I'm playing. All right. So my top three. I just had to throw that out. My top three. I think Ghost Train is gonna storm back. In a big and fashion, big he's fashion. been successful been at this successful race at before. This race before. Uh, him and, uh, little, him Habibi. and little Habibi. I think it's going to be Ghost Train first, Habibi second. I think, train Habibi first, second. Habibi second. I think Michael's going to have Michael's third, gonna place, third finish place finish in this race. In this race. And what's my sub show? I still think, I still think, despite your sub, I just named my top three. I was including your sub. My sub, that's fine. That is fine. He could be top one in the world. One in the world. People that come in here, we've heard it before. Heard it before a thousand times. Where people come in here and be our here and be our yo. I run this esports league. I make thousands of dollars. I got all of these sponsors and they come and scrub out and scrub out. BRL is not these other leagues. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, anyway, thank everyone for thank everyone for yeah, big time, yeah, echo. big time, we're getting up out of here. Thank everyone for tuning in. You can catch the race, you can catch Saturday the race, 11 30 Eastern. Eastern. NDGP, I right will be live streaming as well. <laughs> Ow, my god.